Welcome to the next part of the guide. After episode about masonry of the bearing walls, which was a little bit boring but of course very important, I invite you to the chapters in which I will try to present and explain very responsible work related to performance of the reinforced concrete constructions. The presented project is pretty diverse in terms of such structures. We have an interesting situation here, because the ceiling extends beyond the structure of the ground floor, being partially supported on the outer pillars. This section will be constructed as a reinforced concrete slab. The ceiling remaining inside of the building, which is located above of the ground floor, will be executed as a multi-ribs deriva ceiling, supported on a massive substring carried by the inside pillars. We are going to perform four works of an outside arc-shaped lintels, two balconies and explore a way to fix reinforcements of all the elements of the structure. After the completion of all formworks and reinforcements, you will have the opportunity to look at the process of pouring a concrete of the top of it. So there will be a lot of practical information, which is hard to find in available on the market didactic materials. In the first chapter that you are watching now, I will present the process of preparing a formwork of the substrings. The beams will be supported by bearing walls and columns previously made. Each of the hangers have a different height, which is described in the project. It depends on the weight carried by the substring and its length. In most cases, the substring will be higher than the thickness of the floor. Columns and walls in places where the beams will be located will shorten by the difference between these quantities. Sockets first draw, then trim them to the appropriate height using an angle grinder. This operation you can watch on the movie. The sense of its implementation will become clearer during the presentation of setting the formworks. Execution of formwork of the substring is extremely easy because they form the simple gutter shape, the height of which is equal to that part of the substring that will protrude from the ceiling. Of course, we will cut in the first place individual elements of appropriate size using a circular saw. Here we can already observe the process of assembly individual elements of the formworks. From the project I read that in that particular case, the width of the substring is 25 cm. Thickness of the plate used for making it is 1.5 cm. We will cut the boards and mount it in such a way that the side elements are placed at the bottom of the formwork. This is very important because the structure in this way is more stable. So we will cut the bottom formwork to the 25 cm width plus 2 times 1.5 cm. Knowing the thickness of the ceiling, which will be 24 cm, we can easily calculate that the 42 cm high substring will extend 18 cm below the ceiling structure, so the side panels of formworks, the ones that we are now assembly, will be that high. Please pay attention how the pillars are made, depending on your taste, you can do them with a rectangular or circular shape. I used pre-made concrete formworks set on traditional mortar. There is a reinforcement inside related to the reinforcement of the spot footings completed in the first part of the tutorial. Formworks created this way, we will fill with concrete and then vibrate it. We can also use an OSB board for this job, exactly like in previous section where you could watch preparation of formworks of the window by pillars. Although construction of substring formworks is not particularly complex, it will be quite a lot of them here. As I mentioned earlier, the longest of them will be 9 meters. Exactly in the middle of its length, it will be supported by the freestanding pillar that you have already seen. This allows to divide construction into two parts. In this column will be based also the second substring, slightly shorter, with length of 6 meters and a height of 36 centimeters. Two beams will be crossed each other at an angle of 90 degrees. The choice of materials you can do the formworks is diverse. I've used as always an OSB board since this material is relatively cheap, easy and comfortable to work with. The choice we have is also shattering panel which characterized by a high smoothness, however it is quite expensive. You can also use the traditional plank, but that ones require a little more experience. The boards will combine with each other using as always 45mm long black screws designed for plasterboards. 
As I mentioned before, I chose the boards 15mm thick. It is worth to find a second sort once, especially that you will rather not use this for anything else, and after stripping the formwork down, it will be useless in most cases. The boards are available in lengths of 2.4 meter, so the elements we will produce can get the most such a length. In view of the fact that most of substring is much longer than this, it will be necessary to combine them as you can see on the film. After it is done, we can start set all construction next to the walls and pillars. The next step will be underpin the formwork. First we will cut the pins to desired length, then mount a simple board at the upper end, which in turn is screwed to the bottom part of the formwork. The structure must of course be set horizontally. We can use a leveler, but a simple spirit level should be good enough as well. To stabilize all construction we will use a wooden wedges, those ones will also helpful to set the level. After checking that everything is in order, we will screw wedges in any way to each other, thus preventing them from moving during the administration of the concrete. The next move will be adding the prepared earlier steel reinforcements. The shape of this is very well described in the project. Note that the prepared reinforcements are really powerful. It will be also linked to the reinforcement of the pillars. As you can notice, the major strengthening appear on the bottom of the construction. There are up to 6 12mm diameter rebed bars, which make us difficult to combine it with the pillar reinforcement. As I mentioned before, on the central pillar will support two beams, one of them with the length of 9 meters and a height of 42 centimeters, and the other one with a length of 6 meters and a height of 36 centimeters. The implementation of substring is not a difficult activity, but it is a very responsible moment of the ceiling construction, so don't allow yourself to an improvisation. Everything must be done as it was foreseen by the designer. Please take a look at the preparation of the formworks. In the meantime, I will try in a simple language to explain what are the structures we are now building and what is the reason we will use them. Well, substring made as a reinforced concrete beams will support the ceiling and thanks to their performance, we can increase the span of the floor without building internal load-bearing walls. And this is the basic application of these constructions. In short, substring replaces the walls inside of the building, and thus the investor gains an open space. In the presented case, we get a spacious living room, dining room and kitchen with no any partitions between them. Beams will be supported on the external walls and two columns, built on the top of the footings made in the first part of the course. All this will create a monolithic, very robust construction. Of course, as usual, all the dimensions of the beams, types and shape of the reinforcements, which we will use during the job, are described with details in the construction project. It is sufficient to perform all in accordance with the specification in order to complete the work successfully. Sometimes a contractor insists that it's better build the beams before laying the ceiling structure and only after the substring will dry, set the construction on the top of them. It is much easier to perform but wrong, because in this way we will get a 42cm anesthetic beam below the ceiling, and this is what we want to avoid. As I mentioned earlier, we'll have a few sort of height of substring, depends on those weight and length. In this project, the longest one will have a length of 9 meters and a height of 42 centimeters. Next will be about 6 meters long and 36 centimeter height and 2 by 2 meter, which will completely hidden inside the ceiling. In this video, I will present only the process of implementation of the substring formworks.
An essential element of the implementation of the formwork is underpin it. The most convenient solution is to use a metal stamps, which can be set to the correct height with screws, but it is also the most expensive solution and at risk of theft. I used stamps made by spruce wooden pegs. It is the most popular and cheapest solution. In the first place we shorten it to the interesting height. We can use circular, chain or even ordinary handsaw. Then on the upper part of the peg we'll mount board with a length equal to the width of the substring that we will fix to the construction. Now we are setting substring that will support the floor in place of the staircase. The ceiling will end on this substring, hence we need to make it here. It is relatively short, therefore you can easily observe the process of setting. As you can see, first we are setting the limit ones, next checking the level of the formwork and strengthen the structure. Pegs best buy from the forest district or from someone who has just finished the ceiling. Buying in forest district you should know that the sale takes place only once a month, at least in my country, so you want to make an appointment relatively faster. You will also need to organize transport. Spruce will have a length of about 9 meters, so you will also have to cut them in the forest on the 3 meter lengths. To strengthen the entire floor in this particular project, I used over 200 stamps. However, with a simple 100 meter ceiling, enough about 100 pieces. About underpinning, I will say more in the third chapter of this part. Meanwhile, in the film you can see the process of placing the longest of the reinforcements. It is a bit cumbersome, it is pretty heavy and really solid. I have devoted for a reinforcement a separate chapter in this part of the guide. In the next video I will present the way of making the formworks of an arc shaped lintels that will support the reinforced concrete slab and how to perform the balconies. Thank you for your attention and I invite you to the next chapter.